What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel. You're watching Miguel EDC, the channel where we talk everything EDC gear here. Today, we're, another, we're doing another quick unboxing video. Just got this package in the mail from A14 EDC. Check them out if you haven't already. Bam, he also makes great content here on YouTube as well. And of course, I'm getting this knife here as part of Lefty EDC's knife pass around. So check out Lefty's channel if you haven't already as well. Super grateful for the opportunity to check out these knives. With that in mind, we're going to go ahead and get into this package. What's in the pocket today? We have the behemoth of a knife, which is the Kung Wu Pulsar XL. <laughs> this is an XL knife. That about tells you everything you need to know right there because this thing is huge, right? It's good. It's, uh, probably, this is the biggest knife that I own right now. Recently did an unboxing on it. I've been having a blast carrying it. It has a drop point LMAX blade satin finish with the also wonderful titanium milled scales uh, going on there, which I love. Uh, crossbar lock, great action on this one. Gotta check out Kung because they're doing a killer job with their knives everything they put out is extremely good value for the money and of course this knife and every other knife that you see in this video will be linked down below for you guys to check it out it does help out the channel when you use those links but that is entirely up to you with that in mind let's go ahead and put this knife to work here shall we uh we're gonna go ahead and save as much of the package as i possibly can this thing is a laser beam sharp knife right here without a doubt so I'm also trying to save the planet <laughs> one package at a time. So if I can recycle the package, uh, I'm certainly gonna try to do that. Uh, otherwise, if I'm not able to, then oh well, right? There's <laughs> no there's no work around it, but I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try my best. And yeah, this is one of those where I'm not gonna be able to save the package regardless of how much I try. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and make a executive cut up here. And yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and see what we have all right we have a kaiser knife right here and we have a ooh, one of those premium plastic cases which is unknown just kidding we have some details right here we have the voodoo we have the tuya nice voodoo here s90 v handle satin flats uh take it as a flat grind going on and this orange peel titanium on the handle that's gonna be a good one we're gonna save that one for last and then ooh, we got a little bit of a uh, you know damage to the box here maybe the way it came let's see this one is the um kaiser sub 3 obk yes this is a good one guys this is a treat because this one just came out very very recently at the beginning of february so it is a fairly new knife it has a 154 cm blade in black with aluminum handles and they're also good clutch lock right that is uh, kaiser's version of the crossbar lock which offers uh, a good ability to adjust the, ten the, the the pressure the tension on those omega springs and without further ado let's go ahead and get into this one first and then we'll check out the other one now, here we go let's open it up bada beam bada boom all right here we are okay we've got the wiping cloth as usual all right good uh, material there we have the kaiser warranty uh, instructions all that good stuff you've seen this in the channel before in other kaiser videos but i'll put it on the screen there in case you want to pause and read through that you're more than welcome to and we'll keep making progress here we have the knife which we're going to come back to in a second we have the kaiser cares k care sticker going on there we have the if i can get it out of the box the action for dream a little sticker going on there as well and last but not least we have some additional hardware this one is in matching black it is steel hardware okay and yeah it's pretty nice right it, you don't really don't realize how important this is until you take apart your knife and one of those screws goes flying somewhere and they disappear <laughs> to you know they basically just delete off of the first of the face of the earth and then you don't have a spare one and that's when these really come handy so i'm just going to get all this out of the way here and I'm going to focus on the knife now. There we go. Bam, here it is. First impression. All right, we got the aluminum handle going on, which feels good, right? Right now it's cold to the touch, obviously, because it hasn't, it hasn't been on warm hands for a bit, but that's just aluminum for you. We got the clutch lock, right? Feels good as usual. We saw that clutch lock on the Kaiser Task, by the way. So check out the Kaiser Task unboxing video after this one if you want to see that in action because that one was really good. And we have a 154cm blade here. And this one has the all murdered out aesthetics going on. So let's just get this thing open, 
shall we? And bam, here we are. Check this thing out. I'm gonna give her a nice little wipe, all right? Make it nice and presentable, get any fingerprints off and all that good stuff. So again, fairly new knife just came out. This one is a, who is the designer here again? Mikey Carson, Carlson or Carison. There we go, Carison. <laughs> Sometimes they print these so small you can barely read them, but Carison, Mikey Carison. And uh, yeah, I got the clutch lock going on there. Thumb studs for thumb stud deployment as well. Feels good and the reverse flick, yes. I like when they give you enough space for you to do the reverse flick with your middle finger fingernail instead of the meat right lately i like some some knives have been really hard to reverse flick with the meat right here and it just ends up hurting after a while and so i prefer with the fingernail like that it was great so great action so far on this thing I'll tell you that right off the bat the black coat texture on this aluminum here feels good yeah, feels grippy as well. Feels good. We got some liners which are not exposed. They are milled from the inside, as you can see there. But they are recessed, which is interesting. Good call there. Nice matching black backspacer going on here. A comfortable pocket clip. So we got the curved back, straight line, drop, half circle, and race with a shallow bill. And I barely feel that in the hand. Here's the standard hammer grip. I can fit all four fingers. I have standard. I want to say average hands, not the biggest hands, not the smallest of hands. Then you get a full grip on this thing. And uh, no forward choke option. Right here, the thing that really stands out is this portion of the handle drops so low, uh, forward choking is almost impossible. So that is your finger guard, if anything, right there. And that's about the only grip I guess you could do aside from any other creative pinch grip or anything like that. So uh, as far as the blade, we have a drop point blade here with a little bit of belly going on. And it does have some jimping right here. So since you only have this one grip uh, position, you can also put your thumb there for additional control when cutting, slicing, sharpening your pencil, peeling an orange surviving in the wilderness whatever what have you right 154 cm which is pretty good right a little bit better than you know things like 14 c 28 n d2 nitro v right it's uh, definitely below things like s30 v s35 vn s45 vn and stuff like that as far as billboarding we have the kaiser logo there try to make sure the light hits it at a good angle kaiser logo 154 cm on the show side and the designer logo and sub three obk which is an interesting name uh, actually sub three obk it sounds like uh, obi-wan kenobi <laughs> obk obi-wan kenobi I, I don't know that just came right off the bat that's the first thing that came to mind but um kind of sounds like a submarine or something like that sub three obk hmm, interesting i'll definitely find out a little bit more about the naming right why they name it that way to share with you during the review video you guys know right this is just an unboxing and first impressions of the knife you just saw me take it out of the box uh, it is not a review in any way, shape, or form. It's just sharing with you what the unboxing experience is all about. The thing with the clutch lock, and it might be a little bit difficult to see from here, but there are some different holes here on the both sides of the liners that allow you to adjust where exactly you want to point or put the Omega Springs for more tension or less tension, depending on your taste, which is pretty neat that they have that, right? Uh, more knives should uh, have that option, but I'm pretty sure that's been... Uh, copyrighted right probably a patent from uh, kaiser on the way they do the crossbar lock uh, a little bit of trivia by the way the crossbar lock was originally the access lock from benchmade they invented it they had it patented and that patent recently expired so you see a lot of companies coming out with their own version of the crossbar lock right and kaiser calls it the clutch lock uh Kershaw calls theirs the door lock and just like that many other companies have their own version of a crossbar lock right that kumbu polestar xl is also a crossbar lock as well right so by the way as of recently i've really been loving crossbar locks a ton really really have so let's do some size comparisons here there's that kumbu polestar xl looking like a cruise ship <laughs> next to the obi-wan kenobi sub 3 from kaiser <laughs> and uh let's see what else do we got here we'll do the standard ones there's the Vosti Raccoon, another one with a crossbar lock. I'm telling you, right? Everyone is doing the crossbar lock, and I'm loving it. I've uh, been appreciating it more and more recently, especially with my Kumbu knives, right? All of the ones that I have so far. The chat, 
the Pulsar XL and the Django all have the crossbar lock. But as you can see here, the Sub 3 OBK is a little bit shorter than the Raccoon. It's definitely in that medium category. If we compare it here to the CJRB Pyrite, it's probably a tad bit more comparable to that. And the Pyrite might be just a hair longer. Here's your Rot Model 1 and your Rot Model 2. All right, more comparable to the Rot Model 2, but still shorter. Uh, let's see how much shorter. I don't know. Maybe not all that much, really. All right, a hair for anything. Here's your Demco 8020.5 and the Shark Cup, which is the smaller brother. All right, very comparable to the Shark Cup. Maybe a tad bit bigger than the Shark Cup, but smaller by a hair than the 8020.5. And last but not least, here's the PM2 and the Para 3. So those are pretty much the standard knives that we compare knives to here in the channel. Check it out. It's just a tad bit shorter than the pair of three and of course shorter than the PM2. But of course, that's just to give you a ballpark idea where this guy lands as far as the size departments. Let's do a very scientific paper cutting test and we'll cut some cardboard as well. Again, this one is not brand new out of the box. It has certainly seen some use as part of Lefty EDC's knife pass around. So let's uh, test it here and see. How it, does, how it does, I can tell you right off the bat, this thing is gonna cut really, really good. Full slices, holy smokes. Okay, uh, yeah, I can certainly get behind this thing. I wanna say the blade profile reminds me a lot of that Kaiser Dogfish we looked at. That one was also in the 154 CM with a black um, coat going on. Super slicey, this thing going through paper like it's nobody's business. Uh, let's do some cardboard. I got some everyday uh, diaper box cardboard, single wall. This one has the artistic works here. All right. <laughs> and remember when cutting cardboard, don't cut perpendicular like this, but rather at an angle. And it will look something like this. Wow. All right, I, I'm gonna tell you right now. All right, I jinx myself on that one. I'm gonna tell you right now, this thing is gonna be a cardboard destroyer. That flat grind is gonna put in work. 154 CM going to work there for you. Man, you guys rate it in the comments. Let me know how sharp is this guy on a scale from one through 10. But whew, in my opinion, this thing is definitely a performer and it cuts really, really good to say the least. Well, there you have it guys. That is the sub three OBK from Kaiser again, this one is a Mikey Kerrison design. I'm not very familiar with the designer This is my first time checking out his work uh, Kaiser in case you didn't know is made overseas in China, but they make really good uh, quality tools um, I've definitely checked out my handful of Kaiser knives here in the channel So, you know this one and many others here on the channel are for you to check out This one is a recent drop of February. So definitely a pretty recent one coming out to say the least the action here is oh so good um testing out the blade here there's no blade play no lock stick or you know side to side movement up and down nothing like that which is good but yeah there you have it guys this is just a first uh, experience sort of out of the box first impressions video this is not a review video just yet i'm going to carry this knife i'm going to actually use it on my day-to-day -day edc tasks as usual and i'll come back with a comprehensive review here um you know after carrying this knife for a little bit of time that is pretty much how we do things in the channel of course if you want to make sure you don't miss out on that review video when it drops a subscription will be the best way to stay up to speed smash that like button if you haven't already guys it really helps this video reach a larger audience with the youtube algorithm and this knife will be linked down below so if you're interested in checking it out by the way i'm not 100 sure on the price on this one but i will have all those details for you during the review video uh, or you can check on the link down there by the time i post this video i would have looked it up and linked it in the descri description for you guys to check it out of course if you are interested on getting this knife or any other knife that you saw in the video and you do it through those links in the description it does help out the channel at absolutely no extra cost and of course at no obligation so it's completely up to you but I would definitely appreciate it if you do. That being said, guys, let me know what you wanna know about this knife, right? What details, questions, concerns do you have? Let me know in the comments. Let's have a discussion down there in the comment section. If you guys made it to the end, you guys are the real MVPs. Again, check out the unboxing on the Kunwu Pulsar XL, right? 
crazy crazy knife right here you guys should definitely check it out i'll put a video card right here for you guys to see that one next all right but other than that hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day hope you enjoyed the content here appreciate you hanging out with me until the very end and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace